Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back at it again with another Mego review for Mego Vember. I don't know how much more of this I can stand, Gorilla. Aw, oh, come on, Jess, some of these new Migos are pretty cool. I wish they would all just Mego away already. Anyway, this week we take a look at Migos take on the Rocketeer. Isn't that the superhero from the 1980s that's made in the style of the 30s? It sure is. Made by the toy company in the 2020s, making toys in the style of the 1970s. Could this be... a conspiracy? Nope, nope, don't start that shit again. We better get started before this gets out of hand. Anyway, it's Migos Rocketeer. Raz Holly, hit the music! <laughs> Back in 1982, Pacific Comics published Dave Stevens' Rocketeer, a throwback to the 1930s serial adventures. The story revolves around a stunt pilot who discovers a mysterious jetpack that allows him to fly and fight crime. The Rocketeer was immediately optioned for the big screen, but bounced around for nearly a decade until Disney got a hold of the property. And in 1991, the Rocketeer would debut on the big screen. Ultimately, it ended up falling a bit flat. It wasn't bad necessarily, but came off as a bit derivative. Kinda like Indiana Jones with a jetpack, minus the personality. Multiple attempts have been made over the years to reboot, repackage, and remake the Rocketeer, but ultimately nothing of note so far. Migo continues to come up with interesting surprises when it comes to licenses, and this is another one. Will this bucket-headed rocket man fly high or crash and burn? Let's find out and take a look at the Rocketeer by Migo. All right, so from 2021, uh, Migo, 8-inch action figure, 14 points of articulation, official limited edition action figure with original detail and quality, Marty Abrams presents Migo the Rocketeer. And here we see the titular Rocketeer packaged um, nicely here with his head turned um, to his left um, because you couldn't fit the whole damn fin in there. It's good. I'm glad. I'm glad they did that. I'm glad they didn't, they didn't like fucking squeeze him in there and bend the fin because I'm sure that, that was a possibility. Um, you can also see that he does come with his, uh, with his rocket pack, which would have been a, uh, a, a big fucking minus, obviously, if it didn't come with these. The rocketeer with no rocket, he's, He's just a fucking guy. He's just an asshole in a in a silly fucking costume. I have no idea how this thing is supposed to attach to his back. I guess we'll find out whether when we open it up. But in the meantime, we've got the nice uh, Art Deco style um, box here. Uh, we've got the figure. It looks like it got has like a pleather suit on. It's uh, not red. Um, the the head not really gold. Um, the the colors. Kinda already, we're already kind of fucking up here. Um, you know what, you know what, it was brown. It was a brown jacket, it's not red, it's not like this. Um, in the movie, and this is the movie's version, um, in the movie it's brown. So, let's, let's, let's turn this box around and see what happens here. Well, there he is, there he is in his leather coat. And it is the movie version and not the comic book version of the, of the Rocketeer. Of course, nobody fucking really knows about the comic book version. Hardly anybody knows about the movie version. The uh, movie version was kind of a flop. Um, some people do like it. It does have an audience. I'm like, don't fucking jump down my goddamn throat. It's not my problem. This fucking movie didn't do very well in the theaters. Uh, people did uh, end up uh, finding an audience for it. 
Um, here it is. Here's the Rocketeer. There he is. Woohoo! Um, we got a nice uh, picture on the back here. It doesn't look too pixelated. Um, they actually found a pretty good picture. Uh, put it against the background. Doesn't look too shitty. So they did, did a pretty good job there. And, and now, we saw last week we had a new blurb. We're right back to the old blurb. Um, the last week was a 2020 figure. This says 2021 on the back. And we got a whole different goddamn blurb. Um, we do see that it is um, uh, officially licensed by Disney, who owns the rights to the Rocketeer. Um, it, it, what else the fuck you want to say about this thing? We've seen the box. Let's see what this figure looks like outside of the box. Okay, so before we can take a look at the figure, let's uh, try to get this fucking pack out. Um, so we have it stitched in with some with some fucking some ties or some some nugget things. Whatever the fuck these things are, whatever you want to call them. Um, without a pair of scissors um, or something, it seems. Oh, there we go. It might have been impossible to open up. I hope I didn't break the goddamn thing. And that's another one of these things. Every time I open up one of these packages, it just becomes more and more clear um, that, that my point. My point is that there's too much fucking waste. There's too much trash. We have the outside bubble. We have the car. We have the inside bubble. And then we have to fucking twist tie and rubber band and tape and put a bunch of garbage down on the figure that you know what's going to happen to it? I'm not saving this. It's fucking getting thrown away. I'm throwing it away. It's all fucking going in the trash. Every time I make a video, it's like a big bag of trash going downstairs. Like, I sh there should not be as much fucking waste. We need to figure out a way to get these things in there the most efficient way possible without as much waste. This is fucking bullshit. Okay, so here he is. It's The Rocketeer. Disney's The Rocketeer by Mego. Um, yeah, looks pretty good at first glance um, from, from his boots to his uh, khaki bloused pants. They're not bloused. They're just short. Um, they stop right before the boot um, and then his uh, leather top his leather jacket his coat his rocketeer gear um, and the and the and the head the helmet um, the the copper <laughs> not so gold helmet and you know what the fin is still fucking kind of bent so so uh, nice try fucking well all, all the bullshit and stupid rubber bands and horse crap you put in the fucking thing and you know what Things still fucking bent when I took them out of the box. Um, so yeah, and you can this because this is removable. Um, all the figure. Oh, look at that. We put that on the back. That's fucking fun. Um, not that you're gonna see that all the time, but still, that doesn't need to necessarily be there. Put it on the ass. Put it on the ass. That's what I say. Um, and now, what's the, the what is the main event of these th of this this figure? It's gotta be the rocket, right? And you know what? At first glance, rocket's actually pretty nice. The rocket itself felt like when I picked up it was kind of heavy I was like is this actually made of fucking metal this rocket it's not it's not made out of metal um but it is pretty sturdy it is pretty sturdy and nice um that one thing that was we turn it around now um that we find it's just this cheap little fucking elastic band that they've they tied a little bow or a little knot in the back and that's how you put it on the figure um, they didn't, they didn't think of a way to add a strap or a clip or, or something where you could put it on where it would look nice. Um, now we have to figure out a way to get this on the figure, um, and, and to make it look good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking try to do that. So give me a minute. All right. And so here it is on the, uh, on, on the figure itself. It's just a couple fucking, it's just a little rubber band that's eventually gonna break down and turn into goo and fall apart. And then um, you're gonna have a Rocketeer with a separate rocket, or you have to figure out a way to fucking tie a rubber band through it or whatever, and, and make this thing all over again. So not built to last, there's a fucking minus there, but at least it doesn't take away too much from the figure. Um, it does like, you know, it just looks cheap. It's really this little fucking like plastic fucking bull crap 
that, that you put on there. You could have had, you could have made a nice little fucking strap to, to make it look like it does in the fucking movie. It has like leather straps on it um, that, that you could attach on there and it would have looked nice. And yeah, maybe you would have had to fucking drop another couple bucks on it. But maybe if you hadn't spent all that money on fucking the facts of life license and other stupid horse shit, you'd have extra money to put toward the crap. But beyond that, um, once you get it on, get it on the figure, it does look pretty cool, and it does have a nice metallic look. It does look like it's made of metal, and when you touch it and you feel it, it almost feels like it's made out of metal. It's a very thick, very sturdy plastic, surprisingly. I did not expect this to be, the, at least the, the build of the rocket itself, to be as nice as it is, and it is nice. Um, and, and actually, once you put the figure together, he looks actually pretty cool. I wasn't really fucking expecting much out of this, and now I'm finding myself really enjoying this figure, so that's a a pretty good thing. So at the end of the day, uh, for $12.99 or $14.99 or whatever the fuck they were charging for it at the time at Target and uh, Walmart and so on and so forth, was this figure worth the bucks? Hell yeah, I gotta say so. It's uh, The Rocketeer by Mego. Well, that's The Rocketeer by Mego. What did you guys think of this figure? Let us know in the comments below. Ooh, nobody cares about these stuffy old licenses. If we have to do Mego, can we please do a cool character? You know, I think I have just the thing for next week. Oh yeah? Yeah, he's a cultural icon, a rock and roll legend, and he's got a birthday coming up too. Art Garfunkel? Art Gar... It's Jimi Hendrix! Oh yeah, that makes way more sense. Raz Holly, hit the music!